Hey YouTube, it's Darkcutter2121 and today I am doing a review on the all the superhero CW shows that I currently own. First off, I want to talk about Arrow Seasons 1 and 2. This show started it all. So, and the set that I have, I don't think is an American set, but it, um, because it has, like, warnings that aren't normally, uh, in the U.S. But, this was, like, a Christmas present a few years ago, and it works in my Blu-ray players. So, I'm, I'm not complaining. I got, I got the seasons. <laughs> so, starting off with Arrow Season 1. The packaging is Oliver Queen in his first season suit. Again, the warnings that I was talking about. The spine has... Arrow, the complete first season, Blu-ray disc, and other warnings, and it has the Warner Brothers logo. Open it up. You have a shadow on the disc that has his arrows and his bow. And what I like about this set is it has the, the disc number, because there's four discs in the set. And it has the episode descriptions and the episode names. And it has a character spotlight on this side of the inner cover. And that season, the, f the first season is kind of slow. But whenever it gets to the second season, halfway through the second season, it gets really good on the show. If you like superheroes... And you like a darker toned show, this is a, definitely the show for you. Now on to the Season 2 Blu-ray. It has all the other supporting characters and Oliver in the front. And whenever you turn it on to the spine, it has Arrow, the complete second season. Same as the other one. But this time, it still has the inner, the inner cover. But on the discs, each disc has an in individual character. Like disc one is um Oliver, disc two is Thea and Roy, disc three is Diggle and Felicity, and disc four is Slade Wilson and Laurel. Now this one doesn't have the character spotlight on the inner cover, which they should have just kept the inner spotlight, I think. So on to Arrow season Trace, Arrow season three. Here's the cover. It has the Blu-ray and Digital HD on the top. Arrow, the complete third season. On the spine, it has it's just like the other one. So you got that. And it's kind of um shiny on the cover. Arrow the complete third season, same thing. When you open it up, it has a little couple of pamphlets because it had the digital HD on it. Now this one does not have anything on the inner cover, and it doesn't have the character spotlight on the uh, packaging, and pretty much it's the same um, cover art for all the discs, but with this it has an insert with all the character spotlight and episode descriptions. So let me see where the character, yeah the character spotlight on the back. I really love having the character spotlights. It doesn't matter if you take that code because it's already been redeemed. So all the character spotlights are on the back. So I like I, I like having character spotlights. It shows like people who are new to the show who uh, who the characters are and their names. Put that right there. Now this is a completely this next one is the Flash complete first season. This one is a completely different tone than Arrow. It's a spin-off of Arrow, but it has a more lighter tone in the show and new characters that you meet and it's just a really lighthearted show compared to the darkness and Batmanish version of Arrow. So, I'll go into the packaging. It's the same company that does both shows. On the spine it has Flash the complete first season. 
open it up. Now, there's a difference between the slip cover and this one. It's this one has the complete first season. That one just has the digital HD and Blu-ray. So you open it up. It has the flash speeding around on every disc. This is also, I believe, a four disc set. And it has the same thing as the third season of Arrow. Because it has it doesn't have it on inner cover. It has it on the pamphlet. Goes through all the episodes again. And it has the character spotlight for the flash. Now the seasons this is all the seasons I currently own. I want to get um Era Season 4. That's out. Um I want to get the Best Buy Steelbook edition of Arrow Season 4 and Flash Season 2 because they have great artwork on the cover and I want to share that with you guys. Um, I also have a um, new insulate on my videos. If you've seen the last one, it's actually really cool. So check that out. You'll, you'll see it at the end of this video anyway. Um, I also want to get the Legends of Tomorrow Season 1. And Supergirl, because Super, originally Supergirl was on a different um, network than the Arrow and the Flash. But since it was all in the superhero type genre, and it wasn't doing good on that network, they're bringing it over to CW for Season 2. And what's really cool about Supergirl that's coming out for Season 2 of Supergirl is they're having actual their version of Superman in Supergirl, which is going to be really cool. I can't wait to see what they do with that Supergirl and Superman, how they interact with each other. Because he wasn't really, he, he was hinted in the first season of that show, but he was in the first season of that show. But don't forget to subscribe to this channel, because if I get up to 200 subscribers, I'm going to start a Patreon page where you could contribute each month to the channel. And that would go towards getting more movies or TV shows for for me to review and better quality equipment for better videos. Other than that, thanks for watching this video and have a nice day. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And also check out the mystery video and previous video on the side of this end slate. I also got my email and my Facebook pages up here. And as always, don't forget to check out for more videos on the Dark Hunter 2121 channel.